Hello everyone, I'm here at my shop, uh, Uniquely You Design, Maple, if I say Maple Grove, I'm at uh, Brooklyn Center, Minnesota. I live in Maple Grove. Anyway, today is August the 3rd, Sunday, August the 3rd, 2014. Well, usually I'm reporting to you after service. But today I didn't get a chance to go to service. I got all dressed up. This is one of my outfits that I wear to church. I just took the necklace off to and change your rings. So I'm gonna look so dressy. Um didn't get a chance to go because my car won't start. Not because I am having car problems, because I just had my car done. It was uh I took it to a monster dealership. It is a uh monster tribute. And I'm like, it was like 10.45. And I'm like, okay, I'm going to have five minutes, ten minutes to spare. Because my church is just ten minutes away from me. And I'm be able to find me a good seat. Um, I go to a large church. It's like 10,000 plus members. It's like a huge, mega church. Uh, all the big time pastors come. Like Creflo Dollar, the Copelands, um, Jesse DePrentis. All of them come to my church when they come to town. But anyway, so I'm starting my car and it won't start. So I'm like, okay, you know, you know, I didn't get kind of nervous or anything. I said, maybe it's something minor. And I tried calling my husband because he already left for service. He go to a, a smaller congreg congregation. Um, and I'm like, okay. Uh, let me try again. He won't pick up, so I assumed that he didn't want to pick up because he was at service already. So I called my sister and her guy, because he stay in, they stay in Maple Grove, and she said, oh, he's out of town. Oh, wow. So I'm thinking, like, my theft uh, control came on. Somebody tried to break in and locked something. I'm like, okay, so I'm reading my manual, and I am still won't, not even understanding it quite. So I had a missed service. <clears throat> And so instead of me getting all upset and, and just be like, oh, the devil is fighting me hard. And I just said, you know, things happen because. I don't never say things happen just because. Um, it happened because. God have a reason. Maybe God told you something previously you didn't listen. And all this could have been prevented. Blah, blah, blah. But still, it happened. So I went inside and I started, um, I have a Kirby vacuum cleaner. It's, it's like the super vacuum cleaners of all vacuum cleaners, my opinion. So I started uh, using, you know, car cleaning my carpet and stuff. So I got a chance to do that, clean my, my sewing studio carpet. And then I went upstairs and cleaned all that and oh, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, until my husband came in, he made it in about 1245 or so. So he went and checked it. He said, I think it's the battery. Because I said, what did you do with my car? Because I let him drive it yesterday to the Dollar Tree. And I was like, I don't like him driving my car. Because he like wrecked cars, you know. And it's been a long time since I had owned my own vehicle. And I told God he blessed me with a, a truck or a car. I will take care of it. And he did. Um, I had the money like 100 times over. But I kept on doing other stuff with the money, reinvesting in my business, and I um, paid my way to college. As you know, I have a associate's degree. I, I did have a associate's degree in theology, but I switched over and it's an associate's degree in arts. You know, I wish I would have better stayed theology because I studied theology for three years and then I switched it at the last minute. Literally the last minute, like a few months before graduation or a month before graduation. But anyway, so. I end up needing a jump. He finally tell me, oh, I left all everything on. I think I left everything on. I'm looking like, well, it automatically cuts off if you leave everything on because I have done that at work. And I don't know what he left on, but it did not start. So he's getting his car done and uh, his brakes done by his mechanic. So they gave me a jump and that's what it was. And I'm looking like I just had everything inspected on this car and it passed everything. So I said, but I'm paying a note on this car. So I'm going to take it back to the dealership and uh, if anything's going wrong with it. But it was just that. So uh, I probably won't let him drive it anymore. You know, anyway, my little drama story. I was a little, um, sorry. This 
Courage a little bit because I miss service. I don't like to miss service. And Mac Hammond, Pastor Mac Hammond, was preaching on eagles and how it relates to us. And it was like a whole. And I love eagles, eagles, and it's uh, wings of an eagle. So it was just super cool. The message it was. So I'm like, okay, let me not think about it and just focus That's my husband calling I'll, I'll call him back and finish up as soon as I finish my video but anyway I want to get to what I'm making this video about it was that to just give you an update of what's been going on with me today that's the only dilemma I had today but you know it's always something that's going to pop up but I have decided to start crocheting stuff and I'm going to record later on because I got to go home and do my hair and I'm going to do this funky braided hawk style. It's going to be really funky. Really pumped up. And I've been drinking my energy drink. So I'm really like pump pumped. Right. So I'm starting these new crochet line. And I'm going to do solid colors. As you see all my crochet hats have some type of color in them. So this one is black. But it has the glitter. And I brought uh, a separate beaded strain of yarn and it was on a clearance for a dollar 97 i think i think it's normally like three or four dollars for this so i brought this and i know i was going to add it to hats so I, I got a gold one in this color so i'm gonna make a white hat and black ones in this color make as many as possible with this it's going to be slouch hats of course i like how it look right it's going to be a slouch hat so i'm just i was sitting in the car because i did uh after i left my husband came and gave me a jump. I had finished doing my carpet. So I had said, well, you know, I was been working since my vacation. This is the last day of my vacation. And I I have done jewelry. I painted the house. Painted my uh, new arts and craft and jewelry room. That used to be my boutique in my home. Um, rearrange everything. I'm talking about the littlest beads. I put everything in its place. Everything has a place and everything have to go where it belongs. And I organized all that and that took two days. It took, uh, I made like 17 pieces I think. I think, seven, not 17, about 14, 15 pieces of jewelry. And I started last Saturday and I did that for three days. So I did that from Saturday through mon Monday. Then Tuesday through Wednesday, I painted the house. And then um, and then I took a break and did some stuff for me. I was going shopping in between for stuff I needed for the house, for, for my business, mainly for my business and stuff that I needed to decorate my new arts and craft room. And um, I ended up going to the show to go see Hercules. Awesome movie, love it, love it. I did it Thursday. I took a major break, and um, talked to the Thursday. Yeah, I did it Thursday and Friday. I took a mini break and did some stuff for for me. And um, Saturday, yesterday, I just continue um, putting away stuff and decorating and uh, organizing everything. And I threw away a whole lot of stuff, projects that I'm never going to get to. That it just was probably some test room projects that I was experimenting with that didn't turn out right. So I um, threw away a whole lot of that little pieces of fabric that I'm never going to use for anything. Threw away that. Um, and to about four bags of stuff all together in the last three weeks. Four big bags of stuff. So I did all that. And I'm going to do a video later on of my new arts and craft room it is so nice I love it it's uh, my I painted sage green so that was fun doing that but I want to show you before my time is up I want to show you another thing that I'm working on I actually started on this what I'm going to show you a year ago but you know it's the time and season for everything some things I'll prep and put away and then when it's time for me to bring it out start selling it and I'll, I'll do that but I started on these uh, I love Raggedy Ann dolls or rag dolls so but this is just they look kind of creepy but they're not done yet see hand painted faces and they're gonna have like wild funky colorful hair I did one this was an experiment I don't like her outfit but this is one 
she's kind of cute on camera she has yarn hair she has like crazy yarn hair right and i did each individual yarn braid in her hair like i was crocheting it i actually sold this in because i wanted her to have like a lot of hair so i sold each individual piece of strand in left this whole ball spot right there I, I still had to finish so that's what I've been doing that's what I did like a year ago but it's time I didn't like her outfit but this is mine this is my doll I didn't like her outfit so I want to make some really cute little outfits and I want the hair to be like super long like her hair is yeah her hair is super long and I got uh she's kind of cute and I'm going to I was going to pin her little shoes on but I'm going to hand stitch her shoes on where you can't take them off and she has the bloomers underneath this so uh yeah it's cute on camera I didn't like it at first but it just needed more to her and I want them to look like like Brady and dolls and stuff and and I hand painted their eyes you see her eyes her nose I don't like how I did her nose but this is my doll. She was experimenting. I was just seeing what I don't like. But I do like how I did. Oops, sorry. It's a string. How I did her eyes. How I did her lips. You see her lips? I like, I hand painted the eyes and the lips. And she have like little rosy pink cheeks and her eyebrows. So I like how she looked. So she's to come. But her hair is going to be like her. So I'm probably put them together. I'm, I'm going to do her hair before I do the outfit. So I can really get a vision of what else, how I want her outfit to look. So all I'm going to have. I think all I'm going to have different color hair. Depending on. I'm going to use up all my scrap yarn for this. So. And I have a lot of them. See, and they all have different faces. So I have another one. Compared to her face. And they all got these big alien eyes. It reminds me of my baby, my glam baby. When she was born, she had these huge alien eyes. <laughs> I have big round eyes, so she, and they're slanted. So she had she had these huge slanted alien eyes. So I don't know. I guess that's probably why I uh, did these big huge slanted eyes like that. So it's, like I said, I did a lot of them. So it's it's almost time for me to present them. So, but there's gonna be more because I'm gonna make some white ones, I'm gonna make some yellow ones, and I'm gonna make some red ones. They all, you know, you know, the color of what we are. So it's gonna be ten of each. So that's what I've been doing. That's what I brought back here a while ago. But that's about it. I know I gave you from A to Z what's been going on in my day and some extra stuff. But that's what's going on in my day today. Today is the day the Lord has made. I will be glad and rejoice in it. So I have to rejoice in it regardless of what happened in it. You know, because this is just something to get me off and get me kind of distracted and mess up my whole work week next week because I got to go back to this place, to uniquely unique thrift store where I work at here in Minnesota. So I want to have a positive mind and a positive outlook on everything and just want to be prayed up. And I'm going to go home. I'm going to do my hair. It's going to be fabulous. Uh, I might record again later on, so I'm going to take this laptop home with me. So I'll talk to you soon. And thank you guys for subscribing to me. Do not forget to subscribe to me and pass my video on, video on to other people. Share them if you like it. Leave a comment or whatever, you know. So just thank you for watching and God bless. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.